there. Welcome to our reading for April 2018. Now, this is a general reading, so see how it feels for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We're all psychic. We are all children of God. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. And if you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the videos, in the songs, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I'll see you in a moment. Answer. Welcome to our reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in April 2018. We're going to start with one card from the Archangel Oracle. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self, Angels and Energies of Love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We'll start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom, and clarity for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some insight into April 2018. Outdoors is coming through for cancer. Okay, so it's time to get out of the house. Maybe get out of town. Go outside and connect with nature. Have a picnic. I see like a cafe, maybe eating outside, picnic energy, um, connecting with nature. Pay attention to animals that come across your path, um, birds, signs that come outside. Um, I feel like this card means playing more, you know, having less stress, learning from nature, paying attention to the breeze in the trees, opening up your windows, letting some light in. Maybe you're or bringing the outdoors inside, you know, bringing some beautiful flowers in. Maybe you're getting somebody flowers. Um, this could be exercise outside. Maybe it's time to get out of the gym and do some outdoor activities. You know, this could be hiking. This could be sitting on your porch, reading a good book. I feel like the answers you need come when you're outside. So maybe step away from the mess, step away from the desk, step away from the kitchen, from everything going on, the ruckus inside, and go outside. I see a porch. I want to say a porch swing or a patio, maybe um, even a garage. Um, when I think of outside or outdoors, I feel like there's a grounding energy when you connect to nature. So maybe just sit on a rock, you know, sit on the ground and see how it changes your energy around, how it grounds your energy. Um, you know, like read a good book, get some extra exercise outside, park farther away from the store so you walk more, get up early, go outside, do some stretching, um, maybe start to jog, something like that. Um, maybe you're starting a garden. I see you like digging your hands in the dirt. So planting good seeds that bring prosperity, that bring growth through, um, in your world. Maybe you need to wait for the change of the season, but tend your garden. Um, I want to say like landscaping, like fixing up an outdoor space. Um, it makes me think of like fairy lights or garden lights or the um, solar lights, maybe solar panels. You're putting something like solar panels on your house. That's really cool. Um, 
I see you like reading a book or going to a cafe, eating outside, like less stress, you know? I feel like maybe even running into somebody outside randomly at the store when you're on a walk or ideas, inspirations, and solutions that pop into your world later, you know, unexpected. If you're stuck on something inside, maybe just walk away, you know, go take a walk, go do something different, change your energy around. Maybe the idea comes when you're out. Maybe when you sit back down, your energy has changed. So solutions come through. So your energy is better and you can work better. Um, it makes me think of sleep too, like doing something outside and wearing yourself out a little bit so that when you get home, you sleep better. Also waking up early, maybe just five minutes earlier makes you feel less stressed, less rushed in the morning. So maybe taking a walk around the block, playing with your kids in a park, walking your dog, something like that. There's all the rose energy coming through. Um, Let's see, outdoors is Archangel Jophiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So be open to new ideas, solutions coming through, like aha moments that happen out of the blue. Um, oh, I just thought of, wow, I just thought of, I think it's Out of the Blue by Debbie Gibson. That was one of the first tapes, tapes, I ever owned. I'll put that song below. I bet you I still know every lyric to that song. So um, it makes me think of the 80s or the, I mean, you can go into the 90s, but I'm going back to the 80s here. Maybe the 80s are important. Um, let's see, let's get clarity for cancer on outdoors. Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature, relieve stress, and gain new creative ideas. I feel like you definitely have a creative energy coming through, an urge to go do something. I'm, I see you putting your hands in the dirt. Um, there's another song by Jason Mraz, something about uh, uh, something in playing with... Uh, the dirty dresses, or dirt and dresses, a beautiful mess, I think it's called. I'll put that below as well. Um, I also want to mention when I put this shirt on, the song Black and White by Sarah McLaughlin popped in my head. So I'll put that below too. Uh, let's get clarity for Cancer on Outdoors. We're going to move along to a tarot card. Go outside, get some fresh air connect with nature. I see beautiful like curtains, opening up your curtains, let, letting the light in. Um, I also just thought of like a mini Zen garden where there's sand, um, like a labyrinth kind of energy. Maybe there's a labyrinth you could go to. That's sort of cool. Um, I also think of uh, when I went to the Louvre in Paris, I spent more time outside than inside because there was this amazing art collection outside. Like, <laughs> I mean, some of it was old, but there was also uh, a lot of modern art. Like I remember this random leg <laughs> that was coming out of a tree. Um, and it looked like it was part of the tree, but really like very strange. Maybe there's outdoor art, sculpture, something like that, that comes into your world. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's get clarity for cancer on outdoor energy, connecting with nature, reconnecting with yourself, changing your energy around, walking away from a situation and coming back later. Oh, well, we have the devil coming through. So this is Major Arcana 15. This is where you feel restricted. These are energies that are overwhelming, where you feel like you're chained down. You're bound to something. So um, I just thought of that song Bound to You by uh, Christina Aguilera. You guys are getting the most music so far. Um, the devil comes through because it gives you consciousness 
to change something. Once you are aware that it's not working for you, you can change it. So this card is actually pretty good. It puts the power back into your space, you know? So it could also be just too much of something. This could be a lot of passion too. Sometimes the devil is just, um, it could be a Capricorn energy or it could be like a uh, really passionate energy that you're really into so you forget to take care of yourself a little bit because you're so into something. So it could be a really passionate relationship coming through, but pay attention, take care of yourself, of yourself, you know, still pay your bills, go to work. You know, it's when you're like late to work because you're with somebody and you don't want to leave them. It could be that kind of passion coming through. But usually it's just too much of something. It could be too much work too much ice cream, too much coffee, too much of something that's not working for you anymore. It's draining you. It's keeping you restricted. It doesn't feel good anymore. It's not helping anymore. It's a vice. So this comes through when you have a chance to change something, move something around. Even if, if it's just a little change, it makes a big difference. Um, let's see. I see the statue here. So it makes me think of like statues, something outside. Um, she looks like Princess Leia when she was chained to Jabba the Hutt here. You see that? So maybe something in Star Wars. Um, let's see, I wanna, I wanna say um, there is a reader uh, that does readings, um, the Angel School. And sometimes at the end of his readings, he says, the source is with you, something like that. So I'm giving a little plug in there. I really like his readings. Um, so it's tapping into your own intuition again to get out of something, to feel less restricted somewhere. So what's chaining you down? How can you cut those chains free? Let's get clarity on the devil uh, for cancer. We're going to move along. Um, sometimes the devil is just getting in your own way or letting somebody else control you so much that you're not doing what you love. You're not doing something that's good for you. So it's taking back control in a situation and changing it on your own. I hear speaking up. Maybe you need to speak up or be honest with yourself about a situation. Um, I see this also as just like, I want to say like tied to the desk working so much that you're lacking a little fun. You need more fun. You need more freedom somewhere in your life. This comes through when freedom is necessary. You have to create some space, clear some split space somewhere in your world so you feel more free. So let's get clarity for Cancer on outdoors and the devil in some decks. It's called Ego. Um, Ego can be healthy. Maybe somebody has a really big ego. They want things their way. Their way is the only way to do something. And maybe you just have to be open. Maybe their way works for them, but not for you. Maybe it's somebody else. And your way always works, but it doesn't for somebody else. So I want to say be open. Maybe hear somebody out. Let's get clarity for cancer on outdoors and the devil. I just thought of Tina Arena chains as well. I'll put that below. And we have temperance coming through. So beautiful, beautiful. You also have a progression. It's the 14 and the 15. So you're moving in the right direction. This is when there's a lot of different emotions all at once, you know, and the way through is to find the balance. When I see temperance or balance here, number 14, I think of taking a bath. You have the hot and you have the cold and you have to adjust accordingly to find you're just right. It's like Goldilocks and the three bears. You know, something too hot for you might be perfect for somebody else. So it's adjusting within relationships, within your situation. It's taking a lot of energy in and making it work and flow 
um, like a professional energy, making something look easy. It's taking opposite opinions, opposite things and making it work together, making it flow together like an orchestra in harmony. So I feel like when this card comes through, it's also the angel. There's a, there's a song, Angel on My Shoulder, or something like that. So I'll put that below. You, you guys have the most music so far. Um, so it's balancing those opposite energies, something that you know you should do and something you know you shouldn't do, and figuring out how to make it work. You don't have to take everything out of your world that you love that's fun, but maybe just lessen it. You know, take a little bit out so it makes a bigger difference on the scale on the other side. So pay attention to your intuition, how you're balancing things out in your life. This could be finding a better balance in your overall life, like home, work, play, sleep, everything all at once. It's also handling a lot of different energies at once. So maybe multitasking energies. Maybe you can focus your attention on what needs your attention the most. Maybe somebody needs your attention more than somebody else. A situation in particular needs your attention first. Focus on that and it will lessen the load on everything else you can get to later. So Zebra is by merging various points of view, you can generate an extra, oh, it's a zebra. It looks like my, looks like my sweater. Um, by merging various varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary new idea. So sometimes somebody has a totally different opinion, but that keeps it interesting. That keeps like the, like the devil's advocate, you know? So you have more information coming through. So new ideas can come through. You have one person's ideas, another person's ideas, and together they might create something awesome. You know, one person's personality and talents and attributes and somebody else's, or what somebody else is not good at, you know? Um, I'm getting like different jobs, you know, if you work with others and somebody doesn't like to do something or, or they're not so good, maybe with customers or, um, maybe a book work, something like that, but you are, maybe you can help lighten their load and change, uh, change the jobs around. So everybody is doing something they're good at that they're into. So in the long run, everybody benefits. I'm getting work energy, but that could be kids too, like doing different chores in the house. One kid likes to do the dishes, one kid or you and your hubby or you and your wife, you know, one likes to do laundry. Maybe you can do what you like to do and then both jobs get done and one person doesn't feel so overwhelmed. Um, compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. You know, that medium point, that point where everybody is happy, perhaps just agree to disagree. Um, so it could be a powwow energy, you know, a brainstorming energy. It could be an argumentative energy. But uh, I want to say let bygones be bygones, allow everybody to have their own opinion, and that's cool. You can still love somebody and get along with somebody even if your opinions about something are totally different, like politically or something like that. It's okay. You know, just agree to disagree and find the common ground here. All right, so let's get clarity for Cancer on 14 Temperance Balance. By merging varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. There's a better way to do something. You also have solutions coming through here and less stress. So maybe just walk away from a weird situation that's, that you feel bound by and wait till your energy has changed or that situation has changed before you go back. And then it will be different. Um, you'll see it through a different perspective. Maybe you need to see where someone's coming from, coming from, like a uh, point of view, or somebody else needs to see where you're coming from. You could have the same goals or the same intent, but come from two different directions. Oh, I'm getting a lot of music. I just thought of Parallel Lines by Joss Stone. Um, that's a good song. All right, let's get clarity for Cancer. On Outdoors, The Devil, and Balance, we're going to move along to the Oracle of Visions. Clarity for April 2018. Releasing those chains, Cancer. It's time. 
You know, there's something that's too much in your world. It's draining you. So wherever your energy is drained, it's time to um, recharge your batteries, fill up your your plate, fill. Um, I say fill your space or clear your space. All right, let's see. One more card for Cancer. And this is 16. Wow, that looks like Star Wars to me or some kind of uh, sci-fi scene. There's like a big tower with the rainbow coming through here, but how does she get up there? Um, so she's isolated. She's alone. There's a different way through. It makes me think of like beam me up Scotty, <laughs> you know, like teleportation, something like that, like getting there a totally different way than you thought. Um, there's birds in front of her. So pay attention to your own connection to God, you know, your own internal spiritual guide coming through your guidance system, your intuition, um, even like thoughts that come to you, feelings that come to you, pay attention to, um, what they say to you, how it makes you feel. Even I'm getting an emotional energy with this. It's like, there's a lot of gray here, but then there's a big rainbow coming through something. It's like through the stained glass windows. She's wearing a gorgeous gown as well. Maybe you're getting dressed up to do something, going somewhere fancy. All right, let's see. Let's get clarity on 16 for cancer. Distance, isolation, and perspective. So distance not only gives nostalgia, but perspective and maybe objectivity. Robert Morgan. So that's cool. Sometimes you just need to walk away, give something a little bit of distance, and you can always go back later. Distance can be good. When you remember something from the past, you know, that happened before, this could be something that was in the past. You know, something that restricted you before, and now you have the chance to do it a different way. Maybe in a new relationship, maybe in a new situation. Um, I hear like time is healing. So when we, when we remember something like maybe a past relationship or thing that happened, we can tend to remember all the good things or only remember the bad things and forget that other side of the situation. So let's see, physical distance or emotional detachment serve to give us greater comprehensive view. Distance may also provide a clearer overall perspective that a close up than a close up would. So it's a big picture coming through. So from this vantage point, we can often get the big picture and reach different conclusions. A solitary woman strolls on a desolate beach, her isolation providing a point of reflection. Distance from the influence of others. So this could also be somebody else who is maybe not so much of a good influence in your world, or that was just in the past even. And now you're gonna choose to not repeat those patterns or those types of relationships that restricted you. Um, the floating monoliths provide perspective and suggest the distance with greater emphasis that a world than, a, than would an empty sky, perhaps representing issues in her life. Their distance reinforces her isolation, but may also provide her with the perspective and clarity of vision that she is seeking. We need to strike a balance. So here's a balance here. There is a way to have both, you know, to have everything that's good for you. It's okay to have some of those vices in your world because they help you release, but too much of something is never good. Even if it's a good thing, too much of it usually is de detrimental to us somehow. So we need to strike a balance when assessing a situation. Are we too closely involved or should we step back? All right, Cancer, I hope this reading is helpful. It's about finding a new balance in your world, you know, taking a load off somewhere and putting something healthy on your plate. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.